How do I cast shadows from an invisible object within my scene? There may come a time within After Effects that you're going to want to cast shadows from an object that you don't want to be seen by the camera. For instance, if the best shadows you can get on an angle are from an object that has to sit in front of your camera, the easiest way to get rid of it is simply not show the object. So let me show what I'm talking about. I have a little scene that I've set up here, a little 3D scene, and if I go ahead and I'll rotate around it, like so, you can see that our logo is sticking up off of the white solid that's in the background here. I want the shadow from this logo to be cast upon the white solid in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go to new, and create a new light. And I'm just going to leave this right at default, hit OK. And now I'm going to manipulate around real quick, and I'm going to grab my light, and I'm going to simply drag him back, make sure my light is selected, not 3D Buzz like so, drag him backwards, and there we go. Nice and lit scene here. But there are no shadows being shown. That's because I haven't turned shadows on within the light yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop down the light options, and I'm gonna turn cast shadows on. Still no shadows in our scene. That's because I haven't told the objects within the scene to cast shadows themselves. So I'm gonna go down to my 3D Buzz logo, and scroll down to material options. This is an option that only shows up, by the way, when you have created a um, object into a 3D object. And I'm gonna turn cast shadows on. So there we go. Now we have our shadows in the background here. But how do we get rid of the simple logo itself? Well, it's as simple as simply clicking on the object, or excuse me, the cast shadows one more time. You'll notice when I click on it, it says cast shadows only now. That's the only one that appears. The shadows are still dynamic to the object. So if I select the object and start moving it around, you'll notice the shadow goes with it. So that's how you would cast a shadow from an invisible object within After Effects.